Women's University, Jose Abad Santos Memorial School, Quezon City. We are more than grateful to you for being with us on this memorable and historical occasion. In our very first face-to-face -face graduation ceremonies, after two years of having been on a halt because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We would also like to announce that we are simultaneously live via Facebook live streaming. Without much ado, let us formally begin with the processional. The Jasms faculty and staff. Advisors, Miss Marinel E. Balanza. And Mrs. Rachel B. Bitanko. The graduating class of school year 2021 to 2022. Thank you. 
The school administrator is Abigail R. Agustin, learning support coordinator. Mrs. Eleanor J. Villasol, student activity coordinator. Miss Christina L. Candelar, BED Register. Mrs. Rosana P. Lucian, Elementary Area Level Coordinator. Mrs. Diana Cynthia G. Gutierrez, High School Area Level Coordinator. And Mr. Norman A. Ramirez, BED Assistant Principal. University officials, Mrs. Lorliza B. Catrera, Basic Education Acting Principal, PWU of Jasms QC. Mrs. Remedios H. Cruz, Basic Education Executive Director. Mr. Alfredo Jose B. Reyes, Vice President for External Affairs. And Mr. Marco Alfredo M. Benitez, President of the Philippine Women's University. Let us grace the ceremonies with a doxology to be led by Miss Diane Elaine L. Timbal. This will be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be conducted by Miss Juliana Raven A. Dagiso. Let us bow our heads and place ourselves in the grace and presence of our Lord. God, our loving Father, we celebrate and give you thanks for every teacher, parents, and students who are here today on the occasion of our senior high school graduation ceremony. We thank you, Lord God, for the friends that we have found among our classmates, for all the moments that we laugh, and for the hardships and tears we have endured together. We thank you for the gift of education that allows us to grow in knowledge and wisdom. We ask for your grace to be upon all the graduates. May we keep your words in our hearts. Prosper us in all that we do. Help us to achieve our dreams and help us to use our talents wisely. Make us walk into the future with faith and hope, knowing well that only through you, Father, we can achieve our goals. We ask for your guidance throughout this celebration, and may we have the joy in our hearts as we enter a new journey of our lives. May the goodness and mercy of our Lord Jesus follow us all. This we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here. Below. Praise Him above me host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise the Father. Praise the Son. Praise the Holy Blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures. 
creatures here below. Praise Him above, dear heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise the Father. Praise the Son. Praise the Holy Ghost. Praise God for all. All blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and ang ating kanang kamay sa dibdib at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipina. Ayang maging eksasinang alam alam ng puso sa titik ko'y tumay upang hinirang huwag ka ng maging Let us greet you again a blessed afternoon. Welcome to the 5th Senior High School Graduation Ceremonies of the Philippine Women's University, Jose Abad Santos Memorial School. It is with great pride and joy to celebrate the life and contributions of the graduating class of the school year 2021 to 2022. As spoken earlier, this event will surely go down in history as it is the first face-to-face -face commencement exercises after two years of having been under restrictions because of the COVID-19 pandemic and having classes purely in an online setting. And for sure, after more than years of waiting, our dear brothers and sisters in the 12th grade are more than excited to finally see the sweetest fruits of their hard work and labor. To formally open this occasion, let us listen to what we can expect in our ceremonies today to introduce the first set of men and women who would bring words of encouragement, empowerment, and enlightenment. Let us call on Miss Queenie Nayelga. To our distinguished guests, University officials, school administrators, respected teachers, beloved parents, my fellow graduates, and everyone here today who joined us on-site and online. A very pleasant day to all of us. It is with great privilege and honor to introduce to all of you the first set of speakers from our batch who inspired all of us graduates. 
The first to speak is from the strand of Accountancy and Business Management or ABM. In our batch, there were five students who pursued this trend. Out of those, only two students stood firm and continued. Our first speaker, Kyle T. Abolencia, was one of the students who stayed in ABM until the very last day of classes. Known for being one of the most studious students, proven by her active participation in every class we had. There's no wonder she deserves a Best in Recitation Award. Kyle is one of the people I admire and salute, not because she's my friend, but because of her perseverance. As someone who is also from the Student Council, it is for a certain fact that juggling all the responsibilities of being a student leader is not an easy nut to crack. But because of her self-discipline and good time management, she was able to accomplish all tasks as an ABM student as well as being a student council treasurer at the same time. Kyle is without a doubt an all-rounder student and an, also an empowered leader. Our second speaker is from the Arts and Design Shop, where students are known for their artistic capabilities and love for arts and crafts. Matthew A. Anyano, who will be speaking with us today, realized what hardship one must encounter in order for a majestic piece of art to come to life. He has always been passionate about interior design ever since his first year in Jessams, which was our 11th grade. He is known to be one of the best students in their arts and design class, never skipping a beat to be in action with every activity their class offered. Day by day, as an arts and design student, his skills in creative visualization have improved and will surely improve in the future. The speaker that will go after Matthew is also a competitive student and a leader. From her leadership experience in junior high school, Maria Crescia Chamel and Arnon became our grade 11 president. And this year, she is also part of the student service committee. Aside from leading the whole batch in grade 11, she was also at the forefront of her strand, Humanities and Social Sciences, also known as HUMES. Among the academic strands, three strands, this is much commonly underestimated. As someone from the same strand, personally, I've heard a fair share of lines from different people about their perception towards this strand. But what inspires me to prove everyone wrong with their thinking that Humes will always be the third and will never be the best among the three strands is this speaker. Shamel is the idealist of the Humes strand. She was one of the producers and directors of almost all, if not all, of the curriculum day projects of our Humes batch for two years. Shamel contributed a lot for our strand to be exceptional in every presentation. The last student that I'm going to introduce to you is the one who would do an introductory speech for our vice president, to our university president in the latter part of the program. This speaker is no other than Jasmine M. Valencia from the strand of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Our batch has a lot of all-rounders, and she is among those who does it really well. She's active in every subject in our class, participates in all projects that we do, and always gives her best all the time. Just like our very inspiring PWU president, the one who will introduce our guest will also verse a very inspiring persona, not just to her strandmates, but also to the rest of the batch. On top of that, she is also a very trustworthy leader, a role model indeed to all of us, as she is our current class vice president. We all know that it is surely not an easy task to lead a group of students while meeting deadlines of other tasks that you need to accomplish as a senior student. But Jasmine aced it and showed what a true leader should be. Like her, the one that she will be introducing to us also has a true vision of a leader. Everyone, I am more than proud to introduce these promising students of our batch to all of you. May you be able to connect with the words that will be sharing with us today. Let us give each of them a round of applause.
Good day, faculty, parents, and fellow students. Accountancy, business, and management. Three big words that have defined my life for the past two years of senior high school. Honestly, it was not as simple as I had expected it to be. And believe me, when I say that being an ABM student was like entering law school, despite having a PE degree in college. Why did I say so? Let me tell you the reasons why. The topics covered in our specialized subjects were a great starter for college. Fundamentals of ABM 1 and 2, business mathematics, applied economics, business finance, business ethics, organization and management, and of course, principles of marketing. All of them were great starters. When we started senior high school, I recall teacher Marinelle, our current advisor and ABM teacher, telling us that we were about to understand the basics, quotation mark basics of accounting. However, let me tell all of you, we were deceived. Because it is way far from basic. Our accounting experience was a roller coaster ride. It was extremely challenging that I cried several times because I could not balance it no matter how hard I tried. Who would have thought I would cry over a missing peso? Who would have thought I would be so frustrated because I only got 6 out of 15 on my ABM2 quiz? Who would have guessed I would have a tantrum because I conduct an analysis of my own company in organization and management. And at last, who would have guessed I would make it this far, standing in front of you all, discussing what I had been through for the past year. You may think I am crazy for crying over an unbalanced financial statement or a low score. But believe me when I say it is normal. It is perfectly natural for you to cry because life has been difficult for you. As a student, I know how many times you have questioned yourself whether what you're doing is enough. And my answer to that question is yes, you are doing enough. We are indeed doing enough. One thing I believe Jasams has taught me that I will carry with me for the rest of my life is that as long as we do our best and believe that we can, we will be able to. It may appear that we are not doing enough, but we must remember that as long as we are trying, we are at our greatest. As the saying goes, trust the process. Trust your hardships, and above all, trust yourself. Junior high and senior high school were two different phases that we had to go through in order to learn, not only academically, but also to develop skills and morals which we would carry with us throughout our lives. My experiences taught me that I am not perfect all the time. I am not always smart to know everything. I am not always smart to ace every quiz. In short, I am not always at the top of my field. And did you know what really prepared me for college? No, it is not the lessons that we learn in our online synchronous classes, but rather the lessons that I have learned on my own. Jasms has taught me that the best setting is not always at the top of the mountain. And it is correct. Because as we enter college, we will all struggle a lot. And that is perfectly fine. The story's main climax isn't always at the apex. Sometimes the climax happens when you are struggling to go up. And that is when I realize that we were all champions of our own selves. We are champions simply because we continue to strive despite hardships that keep bringing us down. 
We are winners because we struggle, yet we choose to proceed. Another thing we must always remember is that we are not only the victors of our own lives, but also the victors of this society. I could not agree more with Jose Rizal when he said that the youth are the future of this country. As the Student Council Organization Treasurer for Academic Year 2021-2022, I realized that all students were not just looking out for themselves. But also, in fact, we are striving to be a better generation that will not only lift up our own selves, but also the future of everyone. We at the Student Council Organization do not do things just for fun or simply because someone requested us to do so. The SCO is always thinking about how our activities can help our fellow students become better versions of themselves. Because Jasm has always told us, we are all the future leaders of this world. And in order to be a good leader, you must always assess what you can do to help your followers develop and grow. A good leader lends a helping hand when it is needed. And that is exactly what we do in the council. We extend our hands to those in need. We run outreach programs, donation drives, and other activities to support those in need. We assist them not because we are told to, but because that is how we were taught. In short, we help because we can. And Jasms has shaped us into leaders who are not only scholastically wise, but also virtuously wise. Leaders who know how to do their jobs properly. Leaders who are not only kind to themselves, but also to others. My message to the next batch is to be proud of yourself. Be proud of the person you have become. Life is not easy. We will face numerous challenges, and I can assure you that giving up is not the ideal solution. Rather, it is a stumbling block that will prevent you from achieving the goal that you have set for yourself. Remember that you do not have to face everything all of the time. You do not have to prove yourself to anyone or anything. You must not base your progress on how others perceive you. What you need to do is to appreciate every effort you have made to get to where you are today. You must believe in yourself, trust yourself, and be kind to yourself. You must look up to yourself in the same way that you look up to others. Your most ardent supporter must be yourself. Even if everyone turns their backs on you, even if they say you are not doing well, your own self will remind you that you are. It does not matter what others think of you if you know that you did well. Their gazes would not matter if yours are directed at yourself with a picture of you finally achieving what you were once only wishing for. So, to everyone here today, particularly my fellow graduates, congratulate yourself on a job well done. We have come a long way, and I am proud of everyone. As we part ways, may you remember the times when we struggled and laughed together. May each of us remember the time when we were part of a section called Rizzo. Again, this has been Kyle Tia Bulencia of the Accountancy, Business, and Management Strand. Congratulations and thank you, everyone. In 2020, I found myself wondering about a track I should take because senior high school is fast approaching. Probably, 
It is because I really want to see myself on a track that I'm sure of. Eventually, I saw myself being awakened in the interest of arts, making me decide to take up arts and design. And with the help of my teachers, I finally saw myself in a place where I really wanted to be. But how did I manage to get there? For many years, I have only known art as a subject that would only teach you how to draw, color, and paint. However, it is not the case in a senior high school, and those skills are just the bare minimum. It is about making an inextricable link of each work to the environment, reality, imagination, and creativity. Though the pandemic has surely changed the way we learn things, I presented significant challenges in the terms of how we learn different concepts. It is my utmost interest that kept me going, and I gradually found myself embra embarking on this great journey towards being the artist that I wanted to be. I recall the days when my specialization teachers, Sir Norman, Sir Jan, and Teacher Osang, assigned us as an activity to showcase our skills using various mediums. Most preferably, the one we are more comfortable to work at. This is where I choose photography as my medium of choice. As I am so passionate about taking pictures, but what made me appreciate the track that I have is the reality that my teachers are more concerned with what we are capable of. We are able to appreciate art beyond its shape and definition. From the stenciling painting Sir Jan had presented to us, to the proudly made Filipino paintings that Sir Norman had introduced in the class, up to the leadership and management styles teacher Osang had in has instilled to every artist in the room. All of these things had truly made us see art in the truest form, unfazed, unafraid, and apologetic. These activities made me reflect on the relationships that I had with the arts. Through my teachers and the expertise and experience they had in the field, it truly influenced me to try out new things. Most significantly, it is where I came up with the decision to choose the medium that I can master, photography. As it, as it is where I am most comfortable with, and is where I can great, create great pieces of artwork. Studying my track in JASMs was helpful in terms of preparing for college. With the support of my advisors and teachers, I can tell that I improved throughout the year, from day one and all the way to this day. I recalled when I was new to photography. Sir Jan and Sir Norman were quick to assist me consulting with me and criticizing in such a way that I would learn and apply what I had learned with the, to my everyday need, since I frequently snap images at random while I was outside. Their constructive criticism of my work had shaped my skill to never look at an artwork on the surface level, but to look at its deep core. This made me sharpen my critiquing skills in the long run, and I never looked at the art at the same way again. This also helped me build my skills in leadership. I cannot even imagine my reserve and team itself would lead in a several group projects. This made me fully aware that leading is not just giving instruction or asking people to follow you, but being a role model and inspiration to those around you. I believe that leadership does not only come from one member of the group. All of you can be inspiring influence that would benefit everyone. With all of these qualities, I can say that with confidence that I am prepared for college, thanks to Jasms. To the incoming and current arts and design students, let me leave you with the simple yet meaningful things I learned in my stay here. Improve your skills, never stop exploring, be passionate with what you do, and stay disciplined. This is the beauty arts can share to all of us. 
the freedom to express ourselves through any given medium. From the word of Bob Ross, do not be afraid to commit happy accidents as it ignites the artist in us. Whenever you're a visual artist or performing artist, art is the greatest reflection of who we are as humans. I am Matthew Anyano, a grade 12 student, and above all, an artist. Thank you and a blessed evening. Let me tell you how I got into JASMs. It was February 2020 when I decided to take an exam for my future senior high school. And unfortunately, it was not in JASMs. I was so excited to take on my senior high school journey in a new school. I was looking forward into experiencing how to commute, meet new friends, and learn from a new set of teachers. And then the lockdown happened. It was unfortunate that the school I planned to attend did not open for a new academic year. It felt like my enthusiasm for my senior high school journey was thrown out of a window. I re then I remembered my mom randomly asking me to search about the school she once passed by. After that, I just found myself attending the orientation for new JASM senior high school students. Enrolling in JASMs and taking the strand of Humes is one of the best things that happened to me in the past two years. We cannot deny the fact that, learn that online learning setup made studying harder for students. But being a Hume student in JASMs made it a little better. As a humanista, during the course of our specialized subjects, there will always be a chat pop-up saying, Sure, si ano po na walang ng net? These are just some of the common problems we have encountered during our synchronous classes. Of course, nothing beats the face-to-face -face classes. But our hardworking teachers did their best to still serve us with an excellent learning experience. Studying senior high school at JASMs was a fresh and an exciting experience for me. If my junior high school taught me how to work and cooperate with others, JASM taught me to work with myself. Self-dependence is what JASM helped me develop. While it is important to know how to work with others, it is equally important to know how to work without the help of others. I have always been told that it is important to manage my time. And during my stay at JASM's, I encountered our version of Hell Week. In Humes, we did not have the typical multiple choice exams, but we had three to five papers that we needed to pass in a week. And that's how I learned how to decide fast, plan things thoroughly, and manage my time. Time management and organization skills are what senior high school developed in me. Great skills to bring to college, right? In the span of two years, there are so many things I have learned, both academic and personal, which made me believe that in every class, there will be a personal reflection after. Individual work taught me to be resourceful and to never stop until I found the thing I am searching for. Group work has taught me to be patient, understanding, and considerate to others. While personal growth is an achievement, so are improved academic skills. In my senior high school journey, I was able to try new things, hosting school events that honed my public speaking skills and improved my leadership skills courtesy of being the batch grade 11 class president and being part of the student service committee. But honestly, it is not necessary to have a position to be able to help your fellow students and connect with them. To my Hume's family, I remember the nights when we randomly messaged in our group chat asking if anyone has submitted their papers yet. And we all answered, Wala rin pa ako gawa. That short, simple reply gave comfort and relief. And somehow, 
lessen the pressure on us. It is a common joke that we, humanistas, are the strand that is always reklamo muna bago bawa. But always submit the best papers containing mind-provoking ideas. We chose this trend. We learned how to verify and find facts. I hope we continue to seek the truth and let our voices be heard. For the people and ourselves. Jasam's humanistas, may you continue to aim higher and achieve your dreams. Terezo, even though we spent most of our time virtually, the peals of laughter and memories will always have a place in our hearts. I pray for everyone's success. We have all struggled to get to where we are today, so do not give up now. Rest if you must, cry if you want, do something today that your future self will thank you for. And for the next batch, may you continue to shine and shine brighter than your ates and your kuyas. Never doubt your capabilities, your talents, and your hard work. In closing, please allow me to state Bertrand Russell's words. The fundamental concept in social science is power. In the same sense in which energy is the fundamental concept in physics. To everyone who were with us in this journey as humanistas, we are grateful for giving us the opportunity to learn what genuine power is and how we should use it for the greater good. I am Maria Krija Shamel N. Arnold for Humanities and Social Sciences. Thank you very much and may God bless us all. May success follow our path. Thank you. 
A blessed day to our beloved administrators, faculty members, parents, and guests. It is my pride and joy to introduce to you our next set of speakers. Not only are they are my friends and classmates, but these individuals have shown passion and determination in their respective fields of endeavors. Doing arts, writing essays, programming things, and making formulas are the things that they really do best. Do take note that they have pursued all of this despite that each of us had struggled in adjusting to this new normal. Attending online classes has its own set of challenges, but our next speaker showed us that way not only on adapting, but more significantly how a student should still continue and strive for their dreams. At a first glance, you can instantly see what kind of student he is. Aside from being approachable and welcoming, these speakers show their class how a student should really be. His focus and attentiveness in his every endeavors is one of the reasons why he excels. My classmate and I can attest to how consistent our next speaker is. From passing requirements on time, to putting effort into every class interaction, and even in just turning on the video camera. Throughout our classes, he really proved that he deserves to speak in front of us because of his eagerness to learn. And all I can say is that he deserves his spot today. Folks, let us all listen to Lionel Don B. Caballero as he delivers his speech on how he solved his journey as a student of science technology, engineering, and mathematics. Our next speaker is also a competent student. And I can assure you that for he is a very close friend of mine and I have known him since junior high school. I have known and witnessed how his, how his interest is inclined with handling computers. So when we entered senior high school in Jasons, it was no surprise that he decided to take up the strand of information and communication technology. In his first year alone, he already managed to show off his potential in his every work. And as time passes by, he has shown that hard work really pays off as it continues to improve and show big progress. He's the type of student who works well under pressure. And one thing that really impresses me about him is that he's not only good at academics, but he is also equally good at extracurricular activities. For years of being his classmate, I have seen how we always make sure to not just excel, but also to enjoy every step of his journey as a student. I am glad to introduce to you from the Information and Communication Technology strand, Jacob Carl L. Rehensha. The speaker that I will introduce to you next is one of our class's well-articulated students. She has been in JASMS for six years and has shown that the JASMS way is really what the student needs. She is polite and very soft-spoken, yet her opinions and critics are always on point. As her classmate in humanities and social sciences, I have seen how she successfully managed to pull off well-written papers. This next speaker is a great example that being a humanista is not easy. Some may say that it is just easy to write something, but to be able to write a piece that has an impact or tells a story is a different thing. And where does she got the idea and courage to pen wonderful observation and stories? Because she allowed her experience to mold her to do such and to be such. And she owes it all to the school she loves the best, Jasons. Let us all listen as she speaks about her lives here in Jasons from the Humanities and Social Sciences strand, Altea Isabel M. Picora. 
And later on, another extraordinarily intelligent student will introduce our honorable guest speaker. He excels in academic and is artistically talented in both arts and music. I remember how I went all the first time I heard him play the piano. He's just good at everything that he does, from creating art pieces to producing music and even in writing. His hands truly produces masterpiece. But he reminded us that it is a long, steady process of hard work and commitment. So it is my delight to introduce to you one of our batch's finest and promising artists from the arts and design track, we have Aaron Joel C. Ravelo. This classmate of mine strived hard to be here today, most especially to make their parents proud. They have faced different struggles and challenges, but they proved that their goals and ambitions are much bigger than those. All the sleepless nights or workloads are really worth it. Their endeavors say it all. There is no elevator to success. You will always have to take the stairs. As their classmate, I am one of the first people to applaud their talents, creativity, and heart. Significantly, each of them is a genuine friend, a consistent student, a leader, and a dreamer. So let us all give them a warm round of applause. Warm greetings to our distinguished guests, school officials, and school administrators, parents, families, and teachers, and of course, my dear fellow graduates. I am Lionel Don B. Caballero, STEM student of grade 12 or so, from the graduating senior high school batch 2022. Allow me to introduce my strand by sharing a quote by Galileo Galilei. Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. I've learned to reflect about that quote because two of our very own Jasam's teachers had adopted the same idea in inculcating to us the value of mathematics and science. According to our very own teacher Leonor J. Villasoto and teacher Nina Richie F. Carlos, mathematics is the language of science. Thinking in terms of numbers, I had multiple dubs. If I will make it in, will I also be able to make it out? In addition to its reputation, of including a long list of geniuses in the history of mankind, a grade higher than 84 seem to have a probability which is equal to the logarithm of one, which is zero. But a fraction of my heart kept believing the just might in me, that a child grows up only once and the need to let this childhood be a happy one must be realized. I am that child. We are those children, and we are the realization of the Chasm Simpson. As the pessimism diminishes into a negligible quantity, I took a shot in this trap. A shot not aimed very high, which will propel me just near my starting point. But rather, a perfect 45 degree angle projectile that will help me reach the longest range as our physics teacher will advise. I took a shot because again, I am on a mission of confidently exploring to acquire skills to move ahead in life. For I know that it will break the boundaries of my intelligence capacity, and wisdom. One-third of 24, 50% of 16, 2 to the third power, and derivative of 8x are all expressions 
pertaining to the same number, the number eight. Abby, Dale, Diane, Jasmine, Caitlin, yours truly, Lyndon, Louis, and Sophia. Just like the eight faces of the moon, we are in the STEM class of eight students. We are, up to this day, the eight bonded individuals that went way down by science investigatory projects, research, artworks, video essays, biology, chemistry, physics, and calculus. We lie down from the number eight and transform into mainly infinite joke. It will always be a fun memory to remember the time that we had to perform our very last investigatory project as one group. That single moment of physically spending time with them, as we were mostly in the online mode of learning, was a golden opportunity to evaporate the negative impacts of this pandemic and solidify friendships that were formed. The beauty of cooperative effort that experience in group living among us, the STEM people. In physics, we learned that vectors are a reference point for plotting the right measurement and direction of an object. This concept of vectors outside of science helped me to serve as my moral compass in having conscience for making decisions, in voting wisely as a first-time voter last May. I had no regrets in voting for the best candidates last election, whether they won or lost, since what I did was right for the good of the country. That teachers simplified all the deep lessons that helped us to have an easy and wide comprehension. Their friendly attitudes reminded us that our lives in college will be harder than high school. The quote of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarting sa paroroonan. Help us to remove our pain in the times that we understand and listen to the lessons taught by them. Once we entered the next chapter of our lives, it was in seventh grade that our science teacher thought that having an x-ray checkup for monitoring of your health can only be done every six months because too much checkup of x-ray can also enhance the proliferation of cancer cells because it has high levels of radioactivity. Oh, another case of cancerous reasons, sets health as one of our priorities. It was in 12th grade that our biology teacher thought that sweets cannot only cause diabetes, but also enhance the proliferation of cancer cells because they are the favorite foods of cancer cells. As our truth indeed, from something sweet, something valuable that we can only learn and appreciate deeply from the STEM stand. In mathematics, our teacher gave us opportunities to integrate mathematics with the arts. She gave us opportunities to yet fulfill another Jasam's mission of finding a variety of opportunities for creative expression in two consecutive grades, grades 10 and 11. Similarly, she also did the same thing in integrating mathematics and culture, which is known as ethnomathematics, as part of our team in the curriculum day, last grade 11. This reminded me 
of how I can associate this to our philosophy class when our teacher required us to write a poem which focuses on the environment specific to our strand by emphasizing a conversation with nature. Papers are mostly useless in our lives. We write it, we use it, we tear it, once used, we throw it. However, we were taught that papers have meaning in our lives, in which we must recycle these papers by using it not only once, but twice, in which the unused parts of a used paper can be reused again for aesthetic purpose. Paper is not an appendix with a blurry function, but is a spleen that modernizes red blood cells. Speaking of cells, I recalled our lesson about the cell membrane, which tracks cells who are staying and leaving the cell in order how they are active and cooperate in these events. Facilitating the school events is like a cell membrane. As a member of the Student Service Committee of this senior high school, service for others is important because they want to show how they are loyal and have trust in the school we love the best. My message for the next batches is to try and try until you succeed. Nobody fails since we try our best to pass. We must learn the hardships suffered in this strand in order to make our lives simpler and easier. Congratulations to my fellow graduates of Senior High School Batch 2022. Thank you for the fun friendships and memories that we ever had. Fingers crossed for college. This day will leave a mark in history for all of us. Someday, we will look back on this day where we said, we did it. We are finally here. We have reached the end of senior high school. I'm sure that as we say these words, we recall our travails, hardships, sleepless nights, inner battles, and many more. But hey, do not get me wrong. These are memories, these memories are not all bad. They have molded and nurtured us to who we are today. Let me share with you my own personal story. I chose the school because it was just 10 to 15 minutes away from my house, which meant I can easily just walk to school despite the pandemic. Uh, uh, despite the pandemic, it was advantageous on my end since it was online. And if I needed to go to school, it would not be a hassle after all. As told by Thessalonica earlier in her introduction, I am geared towards taking up ICT as my track for senior high school. Thus, summing up the idea that my learning would really revolve on the things that are online. However, there were inevitable challenges that came along. On the day of enrollment, I had some trouble trying to understand how the online enrollment worked. It was honestly very confusing and stressful since it was all new. Something understandable uh, given that all of us were coursing through unfamiliar territory due to the pandemic. We cannot deny that online classes were not exactly the best. 
a lot of issues came in, and they were very recognizable. Cameras frozen, incomprehensible uh, conversations, internet going down, all of which had truly added to the dilemma. But apart from all these things, my JASM's experience has been exacting yet exciting. Exacting because of these tests that I explained earlier, along with the common problems that come up with online learning. Though exciting because we cannot deny that we have learned quite a bit by simply just studying here. My ICT specialization classes in general had taught me so much despite having little or no background of programming or coding. Through the help of my hands-on and handsome teacher, Sir J.P. Tevia, I had mastered and appreciated the ABCs of programming as well as the one, two, threes of animation. These learnings then had been helpful eventually in our capstone project, which focused on reconfiguring the JASM's library system. It not only compelled me to infuse all that I've learned, but shaped me also to help organize people to work together on specific tasks and to focus on those tasks because like everything else, JASM's teachers give you tasks which match your interest and strength. I also learned how to interact with people based on their interests. I was able to have wonderful conversations that were not about academics with Sir John, our teacher in, <laughs> our teacher in contemporary Philippine arts. The individual works given to us were some of the things that helped me make me be more resourceful and self-reliant. So many things happened that shaped me into a better person by simply studying here. To my friends here in Jasams that I've made and the ones I'm closest to, I will miss every single moment we had on Discord, working on schoolwork, and then singing, Alam ko ang tamat mali, pero ako'y pagod na. <laughs> Asking each other, Boy, may gawa ka na? And just being weird in general, I will miss those moments and I will cherish all those memories. To the ICT squad, you guys are some of the coolest people I've met. I myself can say that I've learned a lot from the two years of studying here, both academically and personally. These experiences are something I will both cherish and miss the most. To use this as a word of advice to the next batch of senior high school students, you just have to work hard. Do not settle for anything less. If you need to reboot your mindset, reformat your ha habits, and restart your ways, then do so. To end, let me thank my teachers for pushing us to be our best. To my family for supporting me and helping me get to this point. I'm close to reaching the finish line. And lastly, to my classmates and friends in grade 12 Rasu, as a whole, I love you all. Yee! <laughs> I'll never forget you guys. You are all amazing. Congratulations. You have all done a good job. And here we are. We did it. <laughs> Again, this is Jacob Carl Rahensha, an ICT student ready to be deployed to the next level. Parents, teachers, administrators, staff, and students. I wish you all the best evening as we witness the fifth senior high school graduation ceremonies, class of 2022. I am Althea Isabel M. Picoro from grade 12 or so. 
and I'll be telling you the story of how I met the better version of myself from our alma mater. It was the year 2016 when I began my school days at Jasms. It was a difficult year to say the least because of how I was adjusting and in the process of emerging from the shell that I hid in, from my, in my previous years of growing up. However, it was a year that made me realize that Jasms is unquestionably a school where you will be appreciated and cared for because they see the hard work and effort that you have put in for, the, for which I am very grateful for. As I am a new student that year, I was terrified of experiencing feelings of loss and dread because I didn't know anyone. Before getting out of the car and entering the school premises, I recall giving myself a pep talk. I recall it being anxiety-inducing, to say the least, because despite my nervousness, I continued walking till I arrived at the classroom. Even though my heart was pounding inside my chest, I knocked quietly and entered the classroom. Grade 7 Newton was plastered on the door, embellished with many types and colors of art paper, and there were large sliding windows that were tinted from the outside. I entered the classroom with no idea that it would have such a positive impact on my life. There were a few other students who were new as well, which helped me cope with my emotions and sentiments because I realized I wasn't the only one who was new. I'll admit that I'm not good at socializing with people or just talking to them in general. I describe myself as an introvert and not a social butterfly in simple terms. But when I was communicating with the other new students, it felt natural to me. My worries fade away, and I felt really happy talking to them. I had no idea that adjusting would last so long and that I would still be feeling the process of taking it all in and just reflecting on what had been going on around me. However, light will always find a way to shine in the gloom. Despite the almost negative and dreary reasons for moving schools, I was satisfied. I had new friends with whom I could talk and exchange tales with, and I was seeing myself grow in a healthy, natural way, which I was grateful for. I had no idea I was capable of such an opportunity to develop into the finest version of myself. The realization that a child grows up only once and the need to let his childhood be a happy one. During eighth grade, I was still hiding in the shell or box that I had made for myself, never truly experiencing the outside world or anything out of my comfort zone, as some may say. I was still terrified of the unknown, and I needed a push to improve and learn more about how to live a happy life, as said by Mrs. Doreen Gamboa, in line with our Jasmine's vision. My mother was furious at me for joining dramatics, or a different club, in simple terms, before telling me to join dramatics. Therefore, I had dramatics club as one of my electives from 8th to ninth grade. I never saw myself acting and playing on stage again after all these years. I never imagined that I would have fashion and that my heart would be joyful when I act and perform on stage. I played Liza, an architecture student who was really loving, but whose boyfriend was a very controlling individual who impeded and controlled everything she did. Looking back, it was truly exhilarating and blissful for me, despite the stressful situations that went into putting on a high-quality play, I loved and missed it all. I'm also delighted to tell you that I was a batch representative for grade 11 in the Student Council Organization, batch 2020 to 2021. As a freshman, 
I witnessed firsthand how the SEO functions as a whole, from school activities to events that they organize. It pushed me to work harder and become a member of their family. It has never failed to amaze me and make me anticipate who ran for the given positions during elections and filing of candidacies. Since then, I've always yearned for the time and opportunity to run for the position that I desire. And fortunately, during my 11th grade, I had the courage to be one of the leaders that I've always admired. Being the batch representative was a position I had no idea I was capable of. A batch representative is a person who is responsible, trustworthy, and caring not just for themselves, but also for the entire grade level batch they are responsible for. A batch representative is the voice of the entire batch, and I am grateful that I was chosen to be that person. The most memorable events for me were Teacher's Day and the annual fair. There's no denying that planning and establishing plans from scratch is stressful. However, what matters at the end of the day is forming a solid plan with the other members of the council. Being able to carry out the final plans is the most satisfying aspects of these events. Your opinions and ideas matter regardless what position you hold. And your strength, whether emotional, mental, mental or physical, is welcome and valued by every leader present during the planning stages until the event is successfully completed. The children are our future, the builders of our nation, belonging, contributing, with initiative and responsibility, with sense of personal and social worthiness, working with others cooperatively, God-fearing and imbued with reverence for life, was one of the sentences we often say during the Monday flag ceremony Though being a leader was a difficult responsibility because I was not used to communicating and being proactive in school, but I learned to love my work. As a member of the council, I was able to further improve my leadership abilities and my willingness to be a great person to others and to myself as stated in Jasmine's vision. Our vision and mission is what I've held on to before, until now. They helped me to persevere in being a better leader, student, daughter, friend, and person. It has encouraged me in discovering what I actually desire in life, as well as a better version of myself. We are, we are the builders of our nation, as aforementioned. Not only has this influenced who we are today, but it has also helped us to be more responsible and to be the patriots that we are known for. Our school is known for assisting and hosting outreach events, particularly when people are in desperate need. During the peak of the pandemic, JASM's organized feeding programs, donation drives, and a community pantry as part of its outreach programs to support the neighborhood around our school. Helping the community and those in need would always be a gratifying feeling for me. It makes my heart happy to help, no matter how small. We are not only willing to help, but it also fills our hearts with joy and happiness to be able to assist others, ourselves, and our country. Curriculum Day is one of the activities that can be found in this paragraph from Jasm's vision. Contributing with initiative and responsibility, with a sense of personal and social worthiness, working with others cooperatively. Curriculum Day is undeniably one of the most stressful events we have at our school because we have to prepare exhibits that showcase various projects from several subjects. However, despite the stressful events and activities, it's, it's gratifying to say the least because your efforts were immensely appreciated. 
just like how our everyday class is. It may be tiring and frustrating considering our situation now since the pandemic started, yet we strive to do more, to do our best, and to be what we want to be. Our advisors' values and teachings were also lessons and counsel that formed me into a better person. And having them as a, ser as a second parent at school made me feel loved, cared for, and valued. As a result, I am grateful that they guided me in realizing what I actually and genuinely desired in life. Jasmine taught me that there's more to life than simply focusing on your studies, that there's more to, to life than just studying or staying in the box you built for your own safety. There are things outside of your comfort zone that you can acquire and discover, things that can help you grow and learn what you actually yearn for in our daily existence. Looking back, my decision-making was not as strong as it is now, but with all of the lessons I've learned and taught, I now see myself evaluating things before making my choices. It helped me grow as a person by teaching me to care about other people's perspectives and contrast them with mine. I am grateful to my teachers who have led me throughout the years for allowing me to be one of their students. Thank you. Thank you for guiding me in finding who I truly am and for accepting me completely. Thank you for being the light in the darkness and guiding me down the path to a brighter future, mom and dad. I appreciate my friends for every moment we made and shared. It will be long etched in my mind. Thank you to the person that inspired, encouraged, and brought out the best in me. I have too much adoration for you. I am Alfei Isabel M. Picoro from grade 12 Verso, and I'm here to tell you that I finally found the better version of myself. And I'm grateful that this chapter has come to a beautiful ending. Thank you for allowing me to share and express what has been on my mind and in my heart in the span of six years. May we all have a wonderful evening ahead of us.
Thank you very much to our incredible roster of student speakers. Truly, you have been true to your words that you would encourage, empower, and enlighten each of us in your speeches. I could not agree with you more, Martina. We will now proceed with the presentation of the graduating class through the university president to be led by our basic education principal, Mrs. Loreliza B. Katwiran. to our dear university president. Today, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of class 2022. They have successfully completed the academic requirements and developed the proficiencies required in the senior high school curriculum of Philippine Women's University, Jose Abad Santos Memorial School as prescribed by the Department of Education. They are now ready to proceed to the next level. Congratulations. Thank you, Teacher Lori. You may stand up. Upon the recommendation of your teachers and principal, and by the authority vested upon me by the Board of Trustees of PWU, and by the Department of Education, I now declare you graduates of senior high school. Thus, I will now present to you your certificates that state that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the senior high school program. Congratulations. We will now proceed with the awarding of the diploma to be presented by Mr. Marco Alfredo M. Benitez, President, Philippine Women's University. He will be, pre he will be assisted by Mrs. Loreliza B. Catuera, our BED Acting Principal. Jana Angela Y. Capile Juliana Raven A. Tagiso Mm -hmm. 
Justin May Panganiba. Erin K. L. Yao. Joy A. Kayaban Jillian U. Balana Afeya Isabel M. Picoro Jasmine M. Valencia Eliza Marie B. De La Serna Aaron Joel C. Radelo Maria Tricia Chamel and Arnold Cyril and G. Mendoza Queenie Naelga Jana Lisette M. Montero Robilyn E. Prestoza Angelo Ivan M. Ruego Diane Elaine L. Imbal Caitlin Ann H. Ravana Pesalonaika T. De Los Santos Kyle T. Abulencia Jose Alejandro A. Pascua Del Alan B. Bernal Adriel M. Salagoste
Matthew A. Aniano Mark Franzen Cesar Lina Abigail Zaira D. Estrada Lionel Don B. Caballero Maxine Theon F. Buan Jacob Carl L. Rehensia John Luis C. Garcines Norman Joshua M. Hapitana Juan Miguel N. Gonda Denmark L. Dantalao Samantha Marico J. Dino Allen Vincent M. Perez Jacob Nicolas D.R. De La Peña Lay Matthew A. Giray John Raymel G. Abisamis We would like to request our University President and our BED Acting Principal to please remain on stage for the awarding of the Loyalty Medal to the student who had shown exceptional loyalty in Jassams over the years. We now call our BED Assistant Principal, Mr. Norman A. Ramirez, to cite the award. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to be part of presenting the Loyalty Award to the student in this batch to be awarded the Silver Medal I would like to call on Jose Alejandro Achacoso Pascua. As we fondly call him Lex, Lex has been in Jassams since senior kindergarten. Congratulations, Lex.
thank you so much, Mr. Benitez, Mrs. Catriran, and Mr. Ramirez. At this point, we shall move to the distribution of awards for the grade 12's exceptional contribution and performance in their various aspects of life in Jasons this school year. Let us now have Mr. Alfredo Jose B. Reyes, Vice President for External Affairs, and Ms. Cristina L. Candelaria, BED Registrar. The following students, please stand in your place once your names are called. These students are cited for taking on the role of teachers for the day as the school honors its teachers through its annual Teachers' Day celebration. We have John Raymel G. Abesamis, Kyle T. Abulencia, Matthew A. Aniano, Dale Alan B. Bernal, Maxine Tion F. Buwan, Jana Angela Y. Capile, Lionel Don B. Caballero, Eliza Marie B. De La Serna, Thessalonica T. De Los Santos, Sophia Ruth T. Violata, Abigail Zaira D. Estrada, Denmark L. Gantalao, John Luis C. E. Garcines, Kristen Joy A. Kayaban, Mark Franzen Cesar Lingat, Cyril Ann G. Mendoza, Nikos P. Oferio, Justin May Panganiban, Jose Alejandro A. Pascua, Erin K. L. Piao, Caitlin Ann H. Ravana, Aaron Joel C. Ravelo, Angelo Ivan M. Ruego, Adriel M. Salagoste, Jayan Elaine L. Umbal, and Jasmine M. Valencia. May I ask Cyril Ann G. Mendoza to please receive the certificates on behalf of the group. Jacob Nicolas Diard de la Peña. Siya ay kinikilala sa kanyang paggawa ng palpalitang pagkikritik at pagbibigay opinion ukol sa mga kontemporarong isyu sa ating bansa. He is cited for his appreciation of tattoo as a contemporary art and for having an understanding of the movements and trends of the different art forms in the different regions in the Philippines. He is also cited for his skill, creativity, and ingenuity in forming a startup business for his entrepreneurship class. That's Jacob Nicolas de la Peña. Kristen Joy A. Kayaban. She is cited for her dedicated service as the member of the Board of Elections Committee, or JBEC, during the Student Council elections for the school year 2021-2022. Mark Franzen Cesar Lingat is cited for demonstrating excellence in the field of computer programming using hypertext markup language cascading style sheet, JavaScript, hypertext, preprocessor, pre and structured query language, which he showed in his web system and work immersion web development project, all of which reflects his active engagement in coding problem solving. Cyril Ann Mendoza. 
She is cited for her exemplary performance in the ABM Business Finance class for demonstrating deep understanding of the importance of managing finances and businesses, translating each concept and ideas into concrete and specific actions in the different case study, presented and sharing her personal analysis as it affects the present situation, meticulously preparing assigned reports and researches to different digital applications and programs, resulting to an outstanding presentation of every report and task. She is also cited for, a, for her outstanding performance in ABM Business Ethics class, her heartfelt understanding of the general ethical principles as applied to the different situations and the business made her dis distinguish clearly between good policies and practices and morally unacceptable policies and practices made her capable of informed judgments through situation and case analysis. Kyle T. Abulencia, Maria P. Chamel, Chamel Arnon, Dale Allen D. Bernal, Abigail Zaira Estrada, Mark Franzen Cesar Lingat, Cyril Ann G. Mendoza, Winnie Naelga, Justin May Panganiban, Jasmine M. Valencia. They are cited for their contributions in their homeroom classes, like in the completion of attendance records, homeroom files and forms, for their diligent efforts to actively contribute the Christmas party program, batch video presentation, graduation dance choreography, and curriculum day presentations, for their willingness to be of assistance during school mass and the baccalaureate mass serving as lectors, commentators and for their outstanding participation as leaders and members of the class. These contributions have helped the class perform better. May I ask Justine Panganiban, please receive the certificates for the group. Matthew A. Agnano, cited for his extraordinary diligence and persistence in pursuing the different topics in apprenticeship and leadership and management in the field of arts. Under the arts and design track, this is manifested through his active participation in class, his positive attitude and self-management skills. Maria, Klisha, Shamel, and Arnon. She is cited for submitting classwork with mere consistency, clarity in detail, and balanced judgment in humanities and social sciences class. She is also cited for her active participation in class discussions and group works in oral communication class. She is commended for her ability to infuse personal experiences to deliver her critical thoughts and ideas in, in the lesson. Dale Alan Bernal. He is cited for his outstanding presentation of his capstone project in Ag in architecture entitled Renovation of Heritage House, the manipulation of technology and the different software available coupled with researches and surveys resulted into an innovative design of their ancestral property, converting it into a future income generating rest house and recreational area for rent. Lionel Don Caballero. He is cited for his complete attendance 
and his remarkable cooperation in conforming to school rules and regulations, such as the wearing of a school uniform and always turning on his camera for online classes. He has been diligent and enthusiastic in participating in all forms of homeroom activities. Likewise, he is appreciated for being respectful to teachers and administrators at all times. He is cited for his dedicated service as a member of the Board of Elections Committee or JBEC during the Student Council elections for academic year 2021-2022. He is also cited for his active participation in class discussions and group works in the oral communication subject. He is commended for diligence to share his thoughts and ideas in relation to the class. Jana Angela Y. Capile. She is cited for her exemplary composition that presents life's realities and experiences in her compositions, Missing Absolution and Hopes to Harvest. Her output showcased her ability to infuse the elements of fiction and perspectives of non-fiction. Juliana Raven A. Daguiso. She is cited for her del uh, diligence and punctuality in submission of assigned tasks in her humanities and social sciences class. Thessalonica P. De Los Santos. She is cited for showing confidence and conviction in expressing the right morals and ideals about current and relevant issues in her humanities and social sciences class. Abigail Zaira Estrada. She is cited for her dedicated service as the chairman of the Board of Elections Committee, or JBEC during the student council elections for the school year 2021-2022. John Luis Garcine. He is cited for lending his skills and ability in creating and editing the video content for the Jasam QC Preschool Online Moving Up Ceremonies for two consecutive years. His contribution to the multimedia aspect of the program provided a, a memorable experience for the pupils and their parents. Queenie Naelga. She is cited for demonstrating sterling qualities of leadership, mobilizing student power, inspiring teamwork, and coordinating resources by being the grade 12 best representative of the Student Council organization for one year. She is also cited for being an exemplary student in her community engagement class. She has diligently and punctually submitted classwork and projects. Likewise, she has shown active participation during class discussions. She is cited for his exemplary composition that presents life's realities and experiences in her compositions, Gabing Hindi Nakakaanto, Misud Joyce, and Talent of My Soul. Her output showcased her ability to infuse elements of fiction and her personal exper experiences through perspectives of non-fiction. She is also cited for her skillful exhibition of writing in her short story, Forget Me Not. Her well-written story is a reflection of her ability to infuse the elements of fiction writing in its most telling and compelling manner. Also, she is cited for her formidable research work in her capstone project presentation entitled The Contrasting State of the Sleep-Wake Cycle of Senior High School Students of Philippine Women's University 
Jose Abad Santos Memorial School of Quezon City and San Francisco High School. The completion of her well-written study is a product of the comprehensive integration of her knowledge in the social sciences and her understanding of the tools and methods in research writing. Erin K. Piao. She is cited for her brilliant presentation of her capstone project, focusing on her own rendition of the Jason's Quezon City marketing poster, the integration of her knowledge in the elements of visual arts and their understanding on the principles of advertising produced a purposeful promotional tool that would encourage potential clients towards enrolling in the Jasam's Quezon City campus. Althea Isabel Picoro. She is cited for her impressive ability to compose poems that reflect the human emotions and sights reflected in her work, as such as I Love You, Sol at Luna, and Mahal Kong Familia. She has mastered the use of the elements of poetry in an effective manner to elicit the best of human emotions. Aaron Joel Ravelo. He is cited for his utmost skills in writing. He shows flexibility and mastery of the style, form, and approach in composing various essays, ranging from the academic to the creative categories. He is also cited for fully understanding and applying concepts, elements, and processes learned in the apprenticeship, leadership, and management in the field of arts under arts and design track. He exhibited strong leadership by taking full responsibility and diligently compiling his classmates' classmates' works for their curriculum day presentations. He is cited for his diligence as a student through his good attendance and active participation in class discussions, his positive attitude and self-management skills, continue to increase his capacity to learn, which helped him earn high grades in his specialized subjects in arts and design track. He is also cited for the creativity, originality, and relevance of his capstone project. He has researched and explained well in detail the musical techni technicalities and significance of the PWU Jossom song. Likewise, his efforts, diligence, ability, and skill with constant consultation and numerous modifications of his work have earned him the title of Best Capstone Project. Jasmine M. Valencia. She is cited for her dedicated service as member of the Board of Elections Committee during the Student Council elections for school year 2021-2022. She is cited for her ability to effectively apply metacognitive reading strategies, thus aiding her to translate facts and ideas manifested in her research and reading into interesting and critical outputs of writing as reflected in her basic scientific research paper and in her film critics. She is also cited for her leadership in performing the investigatory project entitled A Comparative Study on the Efficacy of Three Natural Indicators for pH Determination and Group Activities such as the Graphical Output Generation of Gut Behavior. Her critical analysis during classroom discussions of the chemical equilibrium and chemical kinetics are also noteworthy. Kyle T. Abulensa. She is cited for exemplary performance in the ABM Business Finance class for demonstrating deep understanding of the importance of managing finances and businesses. Translating each concept and ideas into concrete and specific action in the different case study 
presented and sharing her personal analysis as it affects the present situation, meticulously preparing assigned reports and researches through different digital applications and programs, resulting to an outstanding presentation of every report and task. She is cited for her outstanding performance in ABM Business Ethics class. Her heartfelt understanding of the general ethical principles as applied to the different situations in the business made her distinguish clearly between good policies and practices and morally unacceptable policies and practices and made her capable of informed judgment through situation and case analysis. She is also cited for demonstrating sterling qualities of leadership, mobilizing student power, inspiring teamwork, and coordinating resources by being the treasurer of the Student Council Organization for one year. She is also cited for her utmost skills in writing. She shows flexibility and mastery of the style, form, and approach in composing various essays ranging from the academic, professional, and creative categories reflected in her reading and writing in English for academic, academic and professional purposes. A big thanks to Mr. Reyes and Ms. Candelaria for handing these awards. To formally recognize the students who showed commendable ad academic performances, may we call once more our university president, Mr. Marco Alfredo M. Benitez, and he will be joined by our high school academic coordinator, Mrs. Diana Cynthia G. Gutierrez. <laughs> They are cited for their exemplary academic performance in grade 12. That's being recognized with, with honors. Matthew A. Aniano. Matthew Aniano graduates with honors. May I call the parents, please? Congratulations. Maria, Tricia, Samel, and Arnon. Graduates with honors. Congratulations, Jillian U. Balana, graduates with honors. May I request the parents, please? Dale Alan B. Bernal, 
graduates with honors. May I request the parents or guardians? Congratulations, Marnell Don B. Caballero, graduate with honors. Paris, please. Congratulations! John Luis C. Garcines graduates with honors. Call the brother, please. Congratulations. Winnie Na Elga graduates with honors. Congratulations, Jana Angela Y. Capilli, graduates with honors. Congratulations, Juliana Raven A. Daguizo, graduate with honors. Congratulations. Thessalonica T. De Los Santos graduates with honors. Samantha M. Dino graduates with honors.
congratulations Sophia Ruth E. Violata graduates with honors Abigail Zaira D. Estrada, graduate with honors. Yao graduates with honors. Congratulations. Althea Isabel M. Picoro graduates with honors. Congratulations, Aaron Joel C. Ravelo, graduates with honors. Congratulations, Jacob Carl L. Rehensha, graduates with honors. Congratulations. We have Adriel Salagoste, graduates with honor. Congratulations, Diane Elaine Timbal, graduates with honors.
congratulations. Let's move forward. Jasmine M. Valencia. Cited for her exemplary academic performance in grade 12. Just being recognized with high honors for school year 2021-2022. Proud parents, please join with us. Congratulations. And last but not the least, Kyle T. Abulencia. She is cited for her exemplary academic performance in grade 12, that being recognized with high honors. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much, President Benitez, Mrs. Gutierrez, and Mrs. Catuida. These recognitions will remind you of the hard work you exerted, especially during this phase of online learning. Truly, your resilience has really paid off. And we all know that in this journey, they are joined by those people who truly believe in what they can do to get to this memorable event. At this point, may we call on Mr. Aaron Joel C. Ravelo to formally introduce our guest speaker, who will deliver words of inspiration on behalf of the batch. University officials, school administrators, members of the faculty, loving parents, dear guests, and fellow JASM students. It is a great pleasure to be introducing to you our next speaker, someone who is particularly dear to me. By profession, she is an architect, an interior designer, and most importantly, a mother. She is an alumna of the University of Santo Tomas with a degree in architecture Batch 1988. She is a self-employed architect and currently the principal architect of her own architectural services company who has designed over 100 residences over the course of her 33-year private practice. She later studied interior design at the Philippine School of Interior Design from 2016 to 2018 to further enhance her skills and expand her knowledge in interior design. She is a mother of an actuarial team assistant manager, an analyst, and a future film composer. She is a wife to an IT project manager, and also, not to mention, a mother to a beloved beagle. She is the reason why I became a JASM student, and also the one who helped me cement what I want to pursue in life, allowing me to explore my interests, providing the tools to further enhance my skills, and expand my knowledge and abilities, helping me every step of the way and overcome the obstacles along the road. She is a woman who willingly did and risked everything just to save the life of her son, a woman whom I'm blessed and beyond grateful to have in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our next speaker, my mother, architect Aurea Ravelo. Thank you, Aaron, for that heart, heartwarming introduction. May iyak yata ako. Sorry kung magiging emotional ako this time. 
So to our dear parent, to our dear school personnel, members of the administration, teachers, graduates, co-parents, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. When Aaron told me I was invited to be to be the parent speaker for their graduation, my reply was, I'll take the challenge for one condition, that he allows me to share his life testimony. His answer was, it's not about me, mom. The message should be for the whole graduating class. The life testimony I have the privilege to share with you is about this young man's medical condition, one that made us stronger in the face of adversity and helped us believe in miracles. Aaron was born in 2002 with a congenital anomaly known as biliary atresia, meaning he was born without gallbladder and bile duct which will lead to a serious liver disease in less than two years. It is a condition that only 20% of the babies born with it survive, a condition only few people believe that he will survive. He had three major surgeries before he reached his first birthday, as well as countless hospitalization involving blood tests, several times under general anesthesia, countless medical procedure, three years of continuous antibiotic, and five times near-death experiences. In 2006, he reached the end stage of his liver disease, which led to the last known treatment that could save his life and that's liver transplantation. During that time, we had so many questions in mind. What, where, when, who, and how? Indeed, God is great. With my brother as the living donor, on May 15, 2007, during his fifth birthday, Aaron underwent a pediatric living donor liver transplant at Shanggang Memorial Hospital in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. Even after the transplant, Aaron's condition remained uncertain, considering all the risky medical procedures that happened prior. Everything was left in God's hand. And to, he, to see him standing here today, I think all of you will know how my son's recovery went. So why did I say that miracles are real? Aaron grew up living a life similar to normal child, discovered so many abilities, experienced the joy of school, and had a normal social life. This May 2022, he celebrated his 20th birthday, 15th year post-liver transplant, and now graduating high school student with honors. His education was very challenging for us at first, particularly when we needed to find a school that would meet the needs of children like Aaron, who needed a caring community outside his safe, safe place. A transfer in grade three, he was a stressed out school boy that couldn't keep up with normal school requirements. In fact, Aaron didn't even pass the JASM's entrance test. Teacher Maricar Supnet, the guidance counselor, simply told me that she would accept Aaron because she was challenged by his attitude. He didn't get a correct answer because he just answered the question without reading them. Even the simplest questions were not answered correctly. I think the only correct answer he got was his full name. Alam kung ganun ang gagawin niya because he really hated school. 
He attended summer class to help him cope as an incoming grade 3 student. I will not forget the first day of his summer class. The first teacher he met was Teacher Osang. During their first meeting, Teacher Osang immediately discovered his ability and interest in arts. Aaron enjoyed school from then on. Our problem was immediately alleviated, and we were amazed at how Teacher Osang won the heart of the boy who had that time feared attending school. Dibangaling. Thank you, Teacher Osang. Jasams is not just a partner for us. It is a school that brought out the best in our boy who only see the darker side of school life. Jasams gives their children enough space to grow and discover not only their best, but their very best. I recognize the teachers who became their second parents, not only in school, but also after school. For example, there's teacher Lordy, from whom Aaron could even borrow money on days he forgot his baon, and even use her cell phone to ask permission not to ride the school bus. She also helped Aaron to organize his thoughts in making school projects and set good study habits. There are many more awesome experiences that we could share, and that's why transferring to other schools was not an option until he finished senior high. Leaving Jasms, the teachers, the whole community feels like migrating to another country. It's like leaving the family you love while bringing a few bags filled with simple things like knowledge, discipline, talents, strength to face the more challenging path, and a carry-on luggage filled with good memories with friends and teachers, love, and your loyalty to your alma mater. This luggage is filled with what you need to be adjusted to any new environment while your memories remain in your heart, not just in your mind. This will serve as your strong foundation to be able to carry the difficult challenges that will come your way. To the graduates, sweet, young gentlemen and ladies that have been dear to us. I'm sure you will be the best versions of yourselves in whatever path you choose. Be brave enough to dream the impossible, to be strong and confident, and don't be discouraged when times get tough. I remember the nearly hopeless times fighting for the life of our youngest member of the family. The little boy who faced endless pains, difficulties, but, not, but managed to survive. For all of you, enrich your faith in God and remember the memories, both good and bad, that will keep you strong enough to reach your goal. As Walt Disney said, all dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Aaron, it is not about you, or me, or even our family. It is ab about the story of life, love, hope, courage, determination, and faith, which described in Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things that seem. And those were the things that was left in us. I'm sure all parents here will do the same or even more, to give the best for their children. And as I close, I leave with you two of my favorite verses in the Bible. One is in Proverbs 3, 5-6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. And in Joshua 1, 9, and says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For I, the Lord your God, 
I am with you wherever you go. Congratulations. May God bless us all. Marami salamat po. Once more, our deepest gratitude to our speaker, who selflessly gave her words of wisdom to all of us. Truly, we have learned so much from you.
our dear and honorable parent, Mrs. Aria C. Rabelo. Now, let us listen to our university president as he extends his heartfelt message to the graduating class of 2022. To formally introduce him, let us welcome Ms. Jasmine M. Valencia. A pleasant evening to our dear university officials, school administrators, members of the faculty and student support, loving parents, dear guests, and fellow JASM students who are all gathered to witness this momentous event. It is a great honor to be here introducing before you our distinguished guest. I believe our guest today loves math. Why? Well, he earned his Bachelor of Science in Management Engineering at the Ateneo de Manila University and his Master's in Business Administration at the Ateneo Graduate School for Business. Does it answer the why? Now, to add to these impressive school credentials, I believe he is a child whom a parent would be very proud of. Besides being a kind person, he has excelled in his academics by being a consistent student awardee from preparatory to fourth year high school. Isn't that something? But it does not end here. To balance everything, he was also involved in sports. He was a captain of the high school basketball team of Fire of Southridge School in Muntinlupa and was hailed as the most valuable player. Throughout his college career, he was a part of the Ateneo men's basketball team. He was then chosen to be the captain in his final playing year during the 64th year AP season in 2002. You may have also seen him on television as an amazing sportscaster for ABS-CBN Sports in Action, where he covered NBA and UAAP basketball games. The quote, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way, is indeed very apt for our guest today. His passion and positive approach were exemplary and resolute, effectively addressing the problems of our turbulent times, most especially during this time of the pandemic. Through his command, he managed to put flexibility for the workings of the university to serve its purpose to the PW community amidst the changing and challenging times. His character of being kind and considerate had truly inspired us to uphold what PWU Jassam's QC is all about. Unconditional companionship, unwavering patriotism, and untying spirit of civic unity. He had truly led us and maintaining a genuine community of which the standards of trust, respect, and decency are of utmost observed. Yet confidence, cooperation, and humility are still kept. All of these that he has as a leader made my stay in Jasam's worthwhile, thus making me feel that it is my second home. What we see in a leader is what the followers will emulate. He has led the university to where it continues to produce outstanding students through a holistic education that treasure heritage and excellence. He does not limit what the students can do. Rather, he sets a good example for the students to persevere as long as it is possible and the willingness is present. He considers all the potentiality of every decision because he wants what is good for all of us. He always emphasizes the importance of collaboration because without it, the achievements, accomplishments, leadership, and resources of our community would not be possible. The determination to give the greatest services while consciously maintaining and seeking academic achievement, adopting a paradigm of continuous improvement to survive. It is him who sprouted the hope in our hearts, the one who has not given up on all the challenges of the past years. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our distinguished guest, who is no other than President Marco Alfredo M. Benitez, our very own university president. Thank you, Jasmine, for the very kind and uh, very humbling introduction. Please be seated.
Mr. Alfredo B. Reyes, PW Trustee and our Vice President for External Affairs, our Basic Education Executive Director, Teacher Remy Cruz, Principal Lori, Teacher Norman, our hardworking academic and level coordinators, faculty members, parents, our dear graduates of Batch 2022, good evening. First and foremost, thank you to the organizers and the JASAM's leadership team for their painstaking work to make today's event possible. After more than two years of virtual activities, it is a blessing to, be, to finally be able to meet face-to-face -face for such a memorable occasion. You are among the first group of students in this post-pandemic normal to attend a face-to-face -face ceremony here at PW Jassam's Quezon City. Let's savor that for a moment. Your principal, Teacher Lori, Assistant Principal and Academic Coordinators, with the concurrence of Teacher Remy Cruz, our Executive Director, had strongly proposed to have this hybrid ceremony a couple of months ago, citing not just the need for you as graduating students to experience this important ceremony in person now that the health situation is much improved, but also to show the larger PW Jassams community especially the younger batches and those that may be watching online, that despite the challenges the pandemic has thrown our way, we remain resilient and at the forefront of making sure that our students get the best possible experience while ensuring the quality of education we provide here at PWU Jassons. Congratulations, dear students, for successfully navigating another year of online remote learning. But more importantly, Congratulations on completing your stay here at PW Jassams with flying colors. Over the last two years, you've experienced how the Jassams community, your teachers, administrators, and classmates have adapted to this whole new concept of flexible learning as a result of the COVID pandemic. You witnessed how the learning by doing and experiential philosophy of Jassams was adapted to the digital environment while at the same time, still mindful of the values espoused by the university. Values such as integrity, family solidarity, inclusivity, kindness to one another, the respect and fostering of each child's creative individuality, and an orientation towards working together for the good of the community. Last year, I reminded the batch of 2021 how every experience whether a success or failure is an opportunity to learn, and how life's greatest lessons can sometimes be drawn from its greatest traumas, such as what we went through in this pandemic. I assured them too that we would overcome this global health crisis and that they would come out of it with a confidence that they were able to go through a once in a lifetime pandemic at such a young age bettering themselves and their friends and their families in the process. Now that we are in what we pray seems to be the tail end of the COVID-19 pandemic, I would like you to reflect for a moment on how the experiences of the past year or the past two years have changed you and your perspective on the world. Apart from mastering the ins and outs of Google Classroom, Docs, Sheets, Jamboard, Sites, Google Sites, Canva, Discord, and the other apps you use in your remote online classes? Did you learn to become more resilient, hardworking, and conscientious students? Did you become more empathetic and sensitive to the needs and the challenges faced not only by your classmates, but also your teachers who made it a point to prepare better in light of the complexities of online learning? Were you more aware and considerate of your parents who had to juggle both roles as working parents and secondary teachers at home? Equally as important, did we learn when it was time to disconnect from our screens and connect with ourselves, our families and loved ones living with us at home and with our faith? I hope that we did not engross ourselves too much in our academics that we ended up neglecting the other aspects of life that are equally important and enjoyable. Remember that the PW Jassam's education, and we've repeated this 
many times these past two days has always been about the development of the whole child. Because as Mrs. Doreen Gamboa would say, a child grows up only once, that his childhood be a happy one. Recently, there have been two major national and global events that I'm sure have struck a chord and may have even left a significant impression on our lives, or at least our perception of the world. And I'd like to touch on these briefly as these deal with real life experiences and lessons. The invasion of Russia on Ukraine, where one superpower has unilaterally tried to take over an independent and sovereign nation, has shown us how certain individuals are capable of exploiting and utterly disregarding the welfare of innocent human beings for the sake of ambition, greed, and the quest for power and one's personal legacy. Closer to home, the Philippines had just gone through one of the most polarizing and divisive elections of our democracy's history, where the proliferation of misinformation, criticism, and vitriol all over social media left a bitter taste and ruined many friendships, regardless of which candidate you supported. Both the war in Ukraine and the divisiveness of the recent elections show us that despite all the technological advances the world has made, there remains so much injustice, indifference, and focus on self-interest and personal gain in the world. As incoming college students and members of the PWU and PW JASM's community, it is not enough that we become learned and skilled professionals. More importantly, we must form ourselves to be civilized, kind, men and women of integrity who stand up for the truth and are respectful of the rights and beliefs of every individual, regardless of their point of view. Let me thank Ms. Kyle Abulensha for describing life in ABM and the subjects she took, especially accounting. Don't worry, I also was not able to balance those accounting sheets. She reminded us as long as we do our best and believe that we can, that we can accomplish anything. And the best lessons are the ones she learned on her own. Also, she reminded us that we are champions and winners because despite challenges, we continue to strive. Uh, let us also thank Mr. Matthew Agnano who told us about his passion for photography and how the support of his teachers helped him to improve day by day. He also taught us that leading is not just about giving instructions, but being a role model and inspiration to other members of the group. And that we should always remember to keep improving your sk our skills, to never stop exploring, to be disciplined, and to not be afraid of pleasant accidents. I'd like to thank Shamel Arnon, who told us about the pleasant accident that brought her here to Jassams, and how Jassam Senior High School taught her about being self-dependent self and self-reliant. And she also encouraged us to continue to seek the truth for ourselves and others, and reminded us that genuine power should always be used for the greater good. To Lionel Caballero, who taught us that mathematics is the language with, or who reminded us that mathematics is the language with which God describes the universe. And he, he used also several mathematic, mathematics languages to, in his speech. He reminded us that they are the realizations of the, that you, the students, are the realizations of the Jassam's vision. And he referred to one of his lessons where he mentioned that vectors are a reference point that points us in the right direction. Well, Lionel, may the values and the lessons you learned here at Jassam's always serve as your vector wherever you may find yourself in, your, in the future. And to Jacob Rehensha, Thank you for describing the challenges you faced in online classes. I think admittedly we all went through those challenges. And how his Jassam's experience was both exacting 
and exciting. And he talked about the many things that helped shape him to be the person that he is today. But reminded us importantly to work hard and never to settle for less. To Althea Isabel Picaro, she described how she met the better person or the better version of herself here in Jassams. And how she adjusted first as a new student but realized how she was growing beautifully as a person, year in and year out. She talked about her most memorable experiences, particularly Teacher's Day and the annual fair, and reminded us again that the children are our future and the builders of our nation. Thank you, Althea, for reminding us that there's more to life than that which is in our comfort zone. And last but not the least, to architect Aurea Ravello, thank you for sharing with us your inspiring story, with Aaron, yours and Aaron's inspiring story, for reminding us to believe again in miracles and how important our roles as teachers and administrators here at JASAMS are in the lives of our children. When this pandemic started, none of us knew exactly what to expect. Not your teachers, your principals, not myself included. No one knew what kind of impact this would have on the way we lived and the way we learned. And now seeing how the world in education tried to move forward in the new normal. And as you are ready to move on to the next chapter of your lives in college, let us approach each day with a deeper appreciation for the little things we once took for granted. Let us thank our teachers and school administrators for the daily preparations they make to ensure the quality of learning each of you experience, whether online or in person. For their dedication and hard work in providing a safe and healthy school environment, as well as painstakingly studying the best learning modality to address your needs in this new normal. Let us thank our non-teaching personnel, maintenance and security support staff, for continuing to make sure our campuses work efficiently and are properly maintained. Most importantly, let us thank our parents and guardians, the school's partners in your learning journey, especially during the last two years of the pandemic. Once again, this school year would not have been possible without your support, dear parents. Months and years from now, as you enter college and beyond, when you look back at the experience of the past two years, and maybe all of the years you've had here at JASAMS, I hope you, that you will see it as a time when learning moved out of the confines of the classroom, when friendships were nurtured despite the absence of physical interaction, and when, most importantly, JASAMS was able to form you into men and women of character who, having survived a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic, are now more than ready to face whatever life has to offer and be the best versions of yourselves. So to the graduates of Batch 2022, our dear Jasamites, congratulations. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Ito na ang tanging okasyon na hinihintay natin sa taong ito. Ang gabi na ating ipagdiriwang ng may pagmamalaki, pasasalamat at may init sa ating mga puso. Sa lahat ng mga tanging bisita at mga magulang na naririto ngayon, nais ko po kayong bigyang pugay sa inyong pagdalo upang masaksihan ng aming huling hakbang bilang mga senior na mag-aaral ng PWU Jasams Quezon City. Bago kami umakyat sa susunod naming paglalakbay bilang mga mag-aaral at sa ngalan ng aking mga kaklase, nais kong bigyang parangal 
papuri sa mga taong naging malaking bahagi at nakatulong din sa aming buhay. Una sa lahat, nais ko na pasalamatan ang Panginoong Diyos sa pagiging aming liwanag at gabay sa bawat hakbang ng aming buhay at sa pag-aaral. Sa aming mga guro, kabilang sila Ginoong Mark Carlosol, Ginoong Claude Despabiladeras, Ginoong Mark Isigne, Binibining Bina Basilio, at Binibining Noel Motril, na naging mga guro namin sa subject na English. Kay Ginang Joanna de los Reyes, at Sir Isidro Manrique, Ginang Cristina Candelaria, na aming guro sa Filipino. Kay Ginang Elaine Montevirgen, Ginoong Fair Edilo at Ginang Elisa Ramos para sa mga asignatura sa Araling Panlipunan at Hume's Track. Ginang Amalita Manangbao, Ginang Angelina Buenaventura at Binibining Marinila Balando para naman sa ABM. Binibining Faye Modlong at Ginang Rachel Betancol para naman sa STEM Track. At si Ginoong JP Tebia para naman sa ICT. Si Ginoong Abelardo Hiron para sa physical education at its sports. Si Ginoong John Nolias, Ginang Rosanya Luciano, at Ginoong Norman Ramirez para sa arts and design track. Si Ginoong Zik Velardo, Ginoong Sean Fernandez, Ginang Rosali Tiburcio, Binibining Morena Ranera, Binibining Janice Contante, at Ginang Eleanor Villasoto, para naman sa mga elective. Scouting at Curricular Activities Sa aming naging mga tagapayo mula sa ikalabing isang baitang, binibining Faye Mudlong at ginang Amelita Manangbao, maraming salamat po sa isang taong nagdaan. At ngayon na kami ay nasa ikalabing dalawang baitang, sinaginang Rachel Pitancol at binibining Marinila Balando na walang sawang humubog gumabay, nagbigay ng inspirasyon, at nagtiwala sa aming mga kakayahan. Higit naming aalalahanin at babaunin ang tulong na ito upang payabungin ang aming mabuting pagkatao at pakikipagkakwa-tao. Pinigyang diin ang mga potensyal na kalakasan at hinanap ang mga solusyon sa aming mga kahinaan. Dinala kami sa isang bagong antas ng aming buhay na hindi namin inaakala na mararating. Sa pagtuturo sa amin sa iba't ibang larangan at natatanging sining, ang pagtakda ng responsibilidad, paghubok sa angking abilidad at pagpapatibay ng tiwala sa aming sarili ang isa sa marami naming baon sa kolehiyo at sa aming kinabukasan. At sa aming mga punong guro, kay Ginang Loreliza Katuwiran at Ginang Diana Cynthia Gutierrez, maraming salamat po sa pagiging huwarang punong guro na hinahangaan ng marami at wastong pagtuturo ng disiplina na ipagpatuloy ang pagiging mahusay ng mga estudyante. Sa mga kagalang-galang na pinuno ng aming paaralan, kay Pangulong Marco, Benitez, Dr. Felina Yang at Ginang Remedios Cruz. Maraming salamat po sa pamamahala at pagbibigay ng tulong at gabay sa pangangasiwa ng aming paaralan. Lubos din po namin pinapahalagahan ng ang inyong pagdalo sa ating paaralan na masaksihan ang mga aktibidad at mga programa. Ang inyong presensya, mga payo at suporta ay lubos naming ipinagpapasalamat. Isang karangalan po ang maging estudyante ng PWU Jazzams. Sa mga bumubuo ng technical na pangkat, kabilang sila Kuya Alfred at ilan sa aming mga guro. Maraming salamat po sa maayos na entablado at programa na pinapanatiling maganda ang bawat aktibidades mula sa preschool hanggang sa senior high. Pagsaludo po ang aming ibinibigay sa inyo dahil alam namin pinagsasabay niyo ang pagtuturo at pagtulong sa aspetong technical. Ngunit ito ay inyong ginagawa ng may buong sipag at buong sigla. 
para sa iba, mga iba pang kawani ng aming paaralan. Sina Merce Mame Garcia at Dr. Winnie Shaw na kaagapay sa klinika na pinapanatiling malulusog ang aming katawan at kalusugan. Sa aming tagapangasiwa ng silid aklatan na si Ginang Jonna De La Cruz at pinibining Heidi Chuan na laging umaalalay sa aming makahanap ng mga babasahin at impormasyon para sa research. Sa aming butihing registrar na si Naginang Christina Candelaria at ginoong Tani, salamat po sa pamamahala at pag-iingat sa talaan ng impormasyon ng bawat mag-aaral ng JASAMS. Kay Teacher Maricar Sopnet na hindi nagsasawang makinig, magpayo at umalalay sa amin. Lalo na sa itinuturing naming pinakamahirap na laban ng aming buhay, ang pandemya. Ang inyong dedikasyon at serbisyo ay lagi naming ipagpapasalamat. Isang pagpupugay din at sumasaludo sa ating mga matatapat na gwardiya ng ating paaralan. Naaalala ko pa ang mga panahon na palaging ginagamit ang mikropono at speaker para maitawag ang pangalan na paparating na ang aming mga sundo. Sa mga janitor at janitress, mga kuya at mga ate na walang sawang naglilinis at tinitiyak nila na kaaya-ayang malinis at ligtas ang bawat classroom at pasilyo. Maraming salamat po. Sa kabila ng pandemya, na nagdulot ng maraming pagbabago sa ating buhay at naging dahilan sa pagkawala ng serbisyo ng iba, nais kong bigyang pansin at pahalagahan ang aming mga bus driver noon sa paghatid sa amin na ligtas, papuntang eskwelahan at pabalik sa aming tahanan. Isang bagay na hindi namin makalilimutan na naging mahusay ang inyong serbisyo. Hinding hindi katunay na jasams, kung hindi mo mararanasan ang tumulong sa kapwa. Ipinagpapasalamat namin na naging parte kami sa isang makabuluhang gawain at makapagbigay ng tulong sa mamamayan ng Barangay Toro Hills. Ang PWU Jasams ay walang sawang tumutulong na lumalahok at nagsasagawa ng palagiang feeding program. Mula pa noon hanggang nitong pandemya ay umusbong ang serbisyong Bayanihan Pantry sa pakikipagtulungan ng buong pamunuan ng PWU Jasas. Hindi naging hadla ang pandemya upang makagawa ng mabuti sa kapwa. Ang paggawa ng mabuti ay hindi nagbubunga ng masama. Ika nga nila, mas masarap ang magbigay kaysa ikaw ang bigyan. Sa pagkilos na ito, marami kaming natutunan bilang bahagi at isinasabuhay ang core values, mission, at vision ng JASAMS. Sa lahat na naging kaibigan ko dito at sa aking mga kaklase bilang isang buong pangkat, nais ko kayong pasalamatan para sa ating pagsasama-sama hanggang sa huli. Sa paggawa ng magagandang alaala na mabubuhay sa ating mga puso, magpakailanman. Sa patuloy na pagtatrabaho na kahit minsan stress na stress na tayo sa pagkakram ng mga kinakailangan na itawid natin ng magkakasama. Narating na natin sa wakas, ngunit hindi pa ito ang katapusan ng ating paglalakbay. Nawa ito ay simula pa lamang. Padayon sa atin. At higit sa lahat, sa pinakamamahal nating mga magulang at agapag-alaga, sa aking mapagmahal na nanay na si Jean Balana at sa aking namayapang tatay na si Albert Balana, nais kong pasalamatan kayo sa walang sawang pagsuporta palagi sa aming pag-aaral, sa paggabay sa amin na gumawa ng tama at pagiging mabuting mga magulang. Ang inyong bawat pagod, paghihirap, pinubuong pawis at sakripisyo ay lagi naming nakikita upang kami ay makapag-aral makakain ng sapat at maging ligtas ay aming pinapahalagahan. Kung hindi po dahil sa inyo, hindi po kami makakapag-aral sa paaralan na pinakamamahal natin. Isang karangalan at ikinararangal ko na kayo ang naking aking mga magulang. 
hindi matutumbasan ng kahit anong material na bagay ang pagmamahal, respeto, at tiwala sa ating mga magulang. Humihingi po kami ng patawad sa anumang pagkukulang namin bilang inyong mga anak. Bilang pagtatapos, hayaan niyo akong bigyan kayo ng isang mapapakinabangan natin sa hinaharap. Huminga, huwag sumuko sa anumang mga pagsubok. Ipagpatuloy ang laban para sa ating mga pangarap at para sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Pinabati ko po kayo at magandang gabi sa inyong lahat.
Muli, ang aming taos pusong pasasalamat sa iyo, binibining balana sa lahat na iyong iwinika. At sa inyong pagtuntong sa susunod na kabanata ng inyong paglalakbay, asahan ninyong kami ay magbabalik tanaw sa lahat ng naibahagi ninyo sa amin at nagpapasalamat sa pagkakataong kami ang naging katawang ninyo sa paglalakbay na ito. Sulong Batch 2022 To officially lead the graduating class to their Pledge of Loyalty to the Philippine Women's University, let us welcome the Director of the PWU Alumni Relations Office, Ms. Ruth A. Peñano. May we request our distinguished alumni parents, Ms. Maria Elena A. Pasqua, High School Class of 1987, and Maria Cristina Lagman Piao, PWU Quezon City, BSBA in Management, 1987, to join our graduates in the Pledge of Loyalty. May we ask as well our dear guests who are alumni of the Philippine Women's University and Jose Abad Santos Memorial School to rise and join in the pledge. Graduates, please rise. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge of loyalty to the Alma Mater. With deep faith in my God and gratitude to the Philippine Women's University who gave birth to Jasms, I pledge on this solemn occasion to continue my support and loyalty in good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For the growth of PWU Jasms. For the growth of PWU Jasms. To, to ensure it will flourish. And to remain steadfast. And to remain steadfast. To the ideals and teachings of my alma mater. To the ideals and teachings of my alma mater. Proud of my educational heritage. Proud of my educational heritage. I will be conscious of God's presence. I will be conscious of God's presence every day of my life. Every day of my life. I will exemplify the desirable Filipino values. I will exemplify the desirable Filipino values. The virtues of family solidarity. The virtues of family solidarity. Personal integrity. Personal integrity. Leadership. Leadership. And service to the community. And service to the community. As my contribution to a stronger nation. And the transformation of the world through a culture of peace. So help me God. Congratulations graduates. Welcome to the PWU Alumni Association. A resounding congratulations to the class of 2022 for an exceptional year that it was. Amidst all the arduous challenges that you needed to endure, never did you fail to show diligence, patience, virtue, and character. Indeed, your stories and experiences become our inspiration to be the best Jasmites we all want to be. It is the truth coming from Benjamin Franklin's words. Energy and persistence conquer all things. Indeed, each of you is an epitome of passion and determination. You chose not to give up, but you chose to give it all. Now it is great pride that you can call yourselves conquerors. And with that, please receive our sincerest gratitude for joining us in this historic and memorable occasion. We have been your hosts, Matthew Antonio M. Ramos and Maria Martina Fiona C. Pratasio. Let us now join together in singing the Jasm's Hymn conducted by Miss Justine May Panganiban. This will be followed by the singing of the University Hymn led by Miss Cyril and G. Mendoza. Thank you. 
The recessional. For your recessional, let us stay in front. The first two lines stand here at the bottom, I mean at the lower side. The last three rows stay on the upper stage for our class picture group picture and may i request my other teachers to please may i have 10 chairs here for our administrators yeah okay so first two lines in front and the last three lines on the lower level of the stage thank you so much and thank you teachers yeah. thank you so much salamat kuya Sige na po. President, our principal, our level coordinator, our registrar, our alumni director, Teacher Ellen, everyone for the no, group shot. Yes. Ayan. Sige po, upo na po kayo. Ayan. Sino pa? Sino pang nandiyan na nakalimutan ko? Yan. Sige po, upo po tayo. Upo po tayo. <laughs> Meron pa po ba dito?